Are you addicted to Facebook? Uh, chances are you probably have a browser window open to your Facebook account allowing you to see what your friends and colleagues are up to. You may even be watching this video as it's embedded inside my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. In this video, if you haven't already figured it out, is about Facebook, specifically a different way to interface with your account. Now, of course, it lives on Facebook, but you have different ways of accessing that data. Of course, Facebook.com being one of them. You may also use TweetDeck, an application available either on the iPhone or on the desktop since that runs on Adobe Air, which of course is cross-platform. This, however, is by far the most amazing Facebook interface I've ever used. And it isn't provided by Facebook, no. It's actually provided by Microsoft for free. It's running on top of their Silverlight platform, which is also free, and if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm running this on my Mac desktop, Silverlight is free and cross-platform. If you don't have Silverlight installed, trust me, you're going to want it, if only to experience this. This is the beta of Microsoft's Facebook desktop client. It's breathtaking, absolutely amazing. It actually makes it kind of visually compelling to use Facebook. It's the same data. I've got my friends list right here. In fact, I'm, I'm looking at their latest photos. I could easily flip over to the general news feed and get the updates and scroll up and down and see what else is going on in my friends world. I can click comment or like just like I could on Facebook.com. I can see their status updates. I can drill down my different groups. Uh, there's my family or some of my family. Not everybody in my family is on Facebook. Thank God for that. My parents are not yet on there and hopefully uh, that will remain that way because I don't want my parents on Facebook. Are your parents on Facebook? Does it kind of creep you out? <laughs> Are your kids on Facebook? Is that even creepier? Anyway, so I have a very visual experience. Uh, it's not visual enough for you? Okay, you're seeing these little photo thumbnails on the side? Yeah, that's because it's my photos feed. All the photos from my friends you know, connected to me on Facebook, show up here, or at least the latest photos in this grid. And of course, I can hover over any one of them and get information. So there's Clintus. I can click his username. It pulls up that photo. And of course, I can drill down even further. I can even leave a comment for it and see his profile, his latest videos, photos, status updates, seeing all the people that he's following or that he's following him. Trust me, dude, this is just amazing. Okay, so let's go back home. There's the photos feed. I'm going to flip back to a grid view which shows me little boxes instead of just the uh, traditional like long list and you scroll up and down. Now I have boxes that I can flip back and forth and scroll back and forth between. So this is just another way of experiencing Facebook and it's beautiful. It's beautiful on Windows and it's beautiful on Mac OS X running on top of the Silverlight platform. When I first saw this uh, at Microsoft, uh, I couldn't believe it. I was like, is this public? They said, yeah, we just announced it the other day. I'm like, how did I not know about this? If you're on Facebook, you want to give this a shot. Of course, I could navigate by going back to people and scrolling through and seeing uh, the profiles as, as I have connected to them on Facebook just in a different way. That's all. Same data, just get to it in a different capacity. And it's free! More information at silverlight.net. And no, Microsoft did not pay me uh, to talk about this. Of course, I'm sure I'll be accused of something, even though Silverlight is free, and so is this. The official title, by the way, is the Silverlight 4 Beta Client. It's a horrible name, but it is a beta. And hopefully they will see it through because this is quite a dynamic way of experiencing Facebook. I could also access my inbox so I can send messages uh, or receive messages uh, that you know are sitting in my inbox. It's the same account if you're not familiar with using clients. Kind of like what they do with Twitter, all these Twitter clients out there. Facebook, same thing. It's just a lot of people use the web for Facebook. I just pulled up the events feed so I could show you that too. I mean... And of course, uh, you know, I'm sure more features will come, especially if the community embraces it. And, you know, like I said, if you are addicted to Facebook, I think you're also going to come quickly addicted to this, a different way of experiencing the same Facebook experience. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash chris perillo, or my Facebook fan page, chris perillo is the username over there, too. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Oh, and, and then I've also got, uh, you know, the community of 
tech enthusiast, geeks.perillo.com. Uh, I also have a, uh, um, a Google Buzz profile now. Well, I've had a Google profile, but it's been useless up until recently when Google announced their Twitter-like or Facebook-like service. And uh, you can find that at pleasebuzz.me slash Chris Perillo. Pleasebuzz.me slash Chris Perillo. Uh, try that link. Try that for yourself, too. Uh, all you need to do is add your Google profile URL to the end of pleasebuzz.me slash your username, and then it'll send people to your Google profile. Neat, huh? Got a little tip in there. <clears throat> and then, of course, I've got a live video feed, uh, typically talking tech with the chat room, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.